World War II. 2013 is having been 38 years in the UK. That's almost four decades, an incredible amount of time to keep any historic aircraft flying, let alone an enormous B-17 flying quarter with four first seat engines. From 1942 to 1945, thousands of B-17 flying fortresses with daylight missions out of British bases, many in East Anglia. They did help to bring about the end of the war in Europe, but sadly many thousands of young airmen were tragically never to return. It is, of course, in their memory that the aircraft is kept flying. Geographical survey way. After 
money is servicing France. The aircraft was acquired by businessman and pilot Ted White. Renamed Sunny B after his longtime companion Ellie Sunningbo, who is with us here today and ferried to the UK to begin a new career as an air show performer and star of numerous films and TV programmes. Very sadly, in 1982, Ted White was killed during an air rally in Malta, flying his T6 Harbour. Sunny B has worn the black and yellow checkerboard markings of Ted's Harbour on the starboard in a rented county ever since to honour the man who founded the Sunny B organisation. During his incredibly long flying career, he's amassed some 17,000 hours, starting with a Royal Air Force Flying Scholarship and getting his PTL in just two weeks. He then went to British European Airways, which then became what a very incredible battle chat, but co pilot is also on his left and his right hand side there by Peter Coitus. So the crew running in then for their part. Wonderful top shot here, lovely chance for some great photographs. Thank you. 